Christmas special is a mashup of a million different Christmas movies. We kicked around ideas in the writer's room, and it was always a debate as to how much of, to make it an episode of Murdoch Mysteries versus how much to make it a Christmas movie. We had to find a way to find a mystery that went through the whole thing. It also provided an awful lot of Christmas moments for the fans who wanted to see it. We've got Krampus, we've got Santa, we've got elves, we've got children, we've got presents, you name it. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. This is a standalone Christmas special. You're not supposed to be thinking about, well, this is a time in Murdoch and Ogden's relationship when this is happening, or Crabtree's just been through this. It's sort of like, here's your Christmas special. And here we are for you, my princess. Merry Christmas. Thank you, my darling. Thank you. I've probably done Kris Kringle, Santa Claus, you name it more than anyone else. It's nicely written and it's beautifully acted by your regulars and by me. We're having a lot of fun. And I look at myself and it's, it's wonderful to see the old Santa Claus, not the Coca-Cola version. It's a real thrill to have uh, Ed Asner come on the show. He already is the embodiment of Santa. I don't envy your job. And to have to deal with a murderer before Christmas. Murder is a vile crime, no matter the season. Can you tell me any more about Mr. Lynch and Mr. McGowan's relationship? They were not fond of one another. He's a lot more than he seems. On the face of it, he's a, he's a timid, kind of softly spoken, kind of man you wouldn't notice. And then he turns into something very, very dark and sinister. And so there was a great sort of range, a great shift from Rankin to what he becomes. Mrs. McGowan, someone wanted your husband dead. And succeeded. Yes. Who? The only one that I can think of that has a heart dark enough to do this is Cyrus Lynch. Well, it's actually fun to play naughty people, and I haven't played a naughty person for a long time. It's a really lovely show, and often Christmas movies have a really feel good ending and justice has been done and I think that's really nice to watch at that time of year. Are you all right? Yes. How long have you been like this? I don't know. Excuse me, can you take this boy with you to the hospital for sick children? I'll let the nuns know. There's a great through line in this movie about Sick Kids Hospital and um, Murdoch and Julia do something to help them because we've come to understand that the, the wards are really cold and Murdoch invents something ingenious to help them. This should do it. Perhaps you overcompensated, sir. Something must have caused a short circuit somehow. I'm going down to the desk, see if they can replace the fuse. Uh, I may pop out for a brief constitutional. And for goodness sake, William, keep your hands off the lights. I think it's always fun for a show that's had such success and has a huge followership to do a movie that is very set in time and can be replayed and enjoyed throughout the years. I think it's a good marker for us that we've come a long way. I've done some Christmas movies in the past. I like to think that as Christmas rolls around each year, people will be able to put our version of Christmas on and make their own memories, and, and, and that's fun. You know, a little legacy-ish type of stuff, and, and uh, I'm glad to be able to do something like that. Hey, Jackson, what do you think you're doing? I'm measuring the height of the ceiling, sir, for the tree. The there will not be a tree in here. No tree? Bloody Germans and their idiotic traditions. Jackson, get down. Sir, a tree wouldn't be a terrible idea. This is a place of work, Murdoch, not a bloody herbarium. I think the fans genuinely love the characters. We see that at all the various fan events that there's a great affection for them, so this gives us an opportunity to give a little bit of personal screen time to each of our characters. So that had to be a key to the movie. All right, who doesn't have a present yet? Here's a lovely one for me. There you go. Our family, there are a few different Christmas specials that we like. We like to sort of lump them all together. I'm hoping, uh, and certainly the way we've designed this Christmas special, is that people can sort of fold that into their, their favorites at Christmas time. Surprise! Merry Christmas!
Christmas, Georgie? Aunt Azalea! Aunt Ivy, I thought... We pulled a fast one on you. Merry Christmas, Georgie. I'm sure if ever one day I have grandkids, we'll be watching TV and like, oh, look, the Murdoch Christmas special is on. Grandpa, is that really you in that blue hat? And I'll be like, that's right, kids.